Spring is here and families are eager to get out and explore. Our friend Emily Coffin, the travel mom, has a great way to do just that. Emily, welcome back to River City Live. I'll tell you, this is the perfect timing to see you because families, they want to plan a trip. They sure do. You know, people have spent a year inside together now doing work and doing school. And now they want to get out of the house together and have some fun. And I've got the perfect suggestion for a way to do that, an RV vacation. All right. So how does one go about that? Because this has been a big trend and really going on a road trip, but exploring everything that nature has to offer as well. It's it's the ideal way to get away right now. And I discovered RV Share, which is the first and largest platform that connects renters with RV owners. So you have more than 100,000 vehicles to choose from and get started planning an RV vacation. Now, the peer-to-peer -peer rental is terrific because you can find whatever you want in whatever type of vehicle. And I've done a video recently that you can find at my website website, thetravelmom.com, all about choosing the right vehicle for you and your family. Now, let me ask you a question. Is it intimidating driving some of those? Because some of those vehicles are pretty big. What was your experience oh, like? They, they are pretty big. And yes, it was intimidating for about five minutes. And the owners at RV Share are awesome because they work with you to make sure you're comfortable in the vehicle and do a couple test laps while they're with you and give you some advice and direction and guidance. You know, the, the Class C, which is the most popular type of vehicle to drive, is kind of like driving a U-Haul or moving van. And even the Class A, which is the great big one, kind of like a bus, doesn't require a special driver's license. So driving it is not as challenging as one might think. In fact, driving it is one teeny tiny piece of the entire experience. Well, then what are some other travel tips that you have? Well, I think it's very important that you decide what type of vacation experience you're looking for. You can have a very rustic, get off the grid, out there dry camping experience, or you can go to one of the RV resort parks that's like glamping with all types of amenities from Wi-Fi to swimming pools and washer and dryer laundry facilities. So defining that experience is really important and plan ahead, especially with the busy summer months coming up and holiday weekends, the RVs become limited. So if you go to RVShare.com now, you can see a selection of what's available and reserve it and lock yourself in so you don't miss out on the opportunity opportunity to take a vacation. You know, it's cool. It sounds like there's a lot of variety when it comes to choosing the vehicle, but also for the experience that you want. Whenever you're traveling with the family, it's hard to get everybody on the same page, but with an RV, you have that flexibility. I like how you said like glamping, for example. So you can, you're still camping, but you don't necessarily have to rough it. No, and there's so many activities you can do from your RV. One of the beauties of that type of vacation is everything's right outside your door. Whether it's a beach or a lake or a hiking trail, you just open the door and you're right there in the moment. And it's a terrific way to stay together with your pod that you've been isolated with and do something that's fun and enjoyable. I do wanna remind people as you take your road trip, COVID protocols in place for a reason, it's to keep us all safe and healthy. So. Follow the rules that are in place, because if we don't adhere to them, it's ineffective. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very important thing to remember with any type of traveling, but especially with the road trip, because wherever you go, the laws might even change from state to state or from place to place. So that is key. Do you have any other pointers or tips for a road trip in general? Yeah, planning and preparation are key to everything. Decide your budget, decide how far you're willing to travel, how many people are going to be sleeping in the RV, and what type of vehicle you want. I've got a great video up on my website, thetravelmom.com. I'm also giving away a great RV vacation, teaming up with RV Share for a $750 stipend towards renting a vehicle, as well as Sun RV Resorts that has more than 150 locations to choose from throughout the country for three nights. So somebody's going to be able to get an awesome vacation. They can go to my website, The Travel Mom, or my social media, 
at the travel mom and everybody can go to rvshare.com right now to learn about planning your RV vacation. Well, Emily, thank you so much. We always love talking to you. And I'll tell you, with families right now, this just sounds like the perfect getaway that's extremely flexible that you can cater to your family. Once again, safe travels, and we hope to see you very soon. Thanks, Mark.